Last season was arguably Yale's best shot at an Ivy League title since 1962. And knowing he'd have a chance to be a part of something special, Brandon Sherrod joined the team. But not the one that had a shot at the dance. The one that had a shot to me, 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 sing at a dance. You see, Brandon chose the band over the ball team, the Whiffenpoofs, Yale's prestigious a cappella singing group that performed on six continents last year, beats the road trip to Dartmouth. This season, he returned to hoops, no longer a record maker, now a record breaker. Maestro, hit it. Yale home to Columbia today. Sherrod riding a streak of 25 consecutive made field goals entering play. Five off the all-time D1 mark. So there you go. There's 26 in a row. You didn't think he was going to miss that one. Later, Yale down three. Sherrod in close. You're not going to miss that one either. So that's 27 in a row. By the way, Sherrod was named Ivy League Player of the Week for the second week in a row this week. There's 28 in a row. 29 in a row, almost the exact same spot. Guy hadn't missed a shot in three weeks, four plus games dating back to January 16th. There is 30 in a row, made the first five shots he took in this game. Shortly after, do we have 31? Ah! Well, he's human. 30 in a row, 30 consecutive field goals. Sherrod, red hot. All 30 of his shots have come in the paint for a grand total of 60 points. So he's not venturing outside the paint very often, but you know what? 25 points, eight rebounds in this game. More importantly, Yale takes sole possession of first in the Ivy League with an 86-72 win. Yale 5-0 and in conference play this season. Columbia drops to 4-1 and on the season. By the way, these teams will meet up on the next to last day of this season, March 5th, where there could be an NCAA tournament burn on the line.